Uh, welcome back to this uh, next video and in this video I am going to talk about the experiments of the Thomas Hunt Morgan. Thomas Hunt Morgan he worked on the uh, Drosophila melanogaster which we commonly call is the uh, fruit fly. Before going into the details of his experiments uh, let me tell you how uh, his work was very important. He was awarded uh, a Nobel Prize of Medicine or Physiology in 1933 for his 17 period long work uh, on the uh, fruit flies in the uh, University of Columbia. Now the first question is why he, why he chose to work with the fruit fly. If you uh, look at the fruit fly, uh, they can be cultured very easily in the lab and they have got a very short generation period and if they have got a short generation period that means that they are present in a very large quantity so if they are present in a very large amount that means you can do a lot of experiments uh, you can actually uh, repeat your experiments so if they are available in a very large amount they can be very good uh, for experimental work if you talk about their uh, chromosomes, they have got only four pairs of the chromosomes and of these four pairs of the chromosomes, the uh, three of the pairs are autosomal chromosomes and they have got one pair of the sex chromosome. Uh, just like the human beings, if you talk about the female, they have got uh, a pair of the X, like they are X and X. And if you talk about the uh, males, they have got an X chromosome and that have got a Y chromosome making a sex pair in the male as X and Y. Now these X and the Y chromosome, if you look at, um, if you look morphologically to them, they are very distinguishable from each other and they were also distinguished from the other autosomal chromosome. So if you stain them, you can easily uh, differentiate between the X and the Y chromosomes and you can differentiate the X and the Y chromosome from the uh, autosomal chromosome that were present in the fruit flies. Uh, in genetics, the uh, most important thing is that if you want to determine the function of a particular thing, you need a mutant. You need a wild type one and you need a mutant one. And uh, Morgan, he was uh, uh, fortunate enough to find uh, a mutant fly in his lab one day. And uh, the mutant he find was for the uh, eye color mutation that was actually having a mutation which was changing the uh, eye color of the fruit fly and by careful experiments uh, Morgan he was able to show that the eye color mutation was inherited along the X chromosome uh, suggesting that the gene for the eye color was situated physically on the uh, on that particular chromosome so this was his uh, this was his proposition that the uh, genes they are actually present on the X chromosomes. Now let us discuss about the uh, some of his experiments that he did to uh, prove his uh, propositions. Uh, his famous saying was that whenever he got uh, any unexpected results, uh, he used to say that they like it means that the flies they will uh, fool you every time whenever he got an, any unexpected kind of the results. So if you talk about the uh, eye color in the Drosophila, uh, they are of uh, two types. Either they have got the red eyes, the that is the wild type one. That means that in nature, uh, the uh, color of their eye that is always red. But because of the mutations, uh, these flies can have uh, white eyes as well. These uh, red eyes, they are actually represented by uh, this allele, a W with a plus over here, and the mutant white allele that is actually represented by a simple W. What he did was in that in his uh, first experiment, he crossed the white-eyed male, this mutant one that he found in his lab, and he crossed that with a red-eyed female. And in this particular red-eyed female was homozygous in nature. By that I mean that if you uh, look at the uh, both of the X chromosome, they are actually carrying the wild type allele over here. Therefore, they are homozygous. Homo means same. So both of the alleles is they are the same. Therefore, we call this is the homozygous one. So the female parent was having the red eyes and the male parent that was actually having the uh, white eyes. So when he crossed them, uh, the results was that all of the males, they were having the red eyes uh, with a genotype like this. 
an X chromosome carrying a, a, a Y type allele and a Y chromosome and all of the female they were also having the red eyes but this they are different from their uh, female parent because the female parent was homozygous in nature here all of the females they were heterozygous in nature uh, just like the Mendel, what he did was that he uh, self-crossed the F1 generation. Before going into the results, let me tell you that uh, this is a Punnett square. And outside the Punnett square, you are actually having the uh, gametes of the parents. And inside of the Punnett square, you are actually having the fertilized product. So if you look at this particular side, that is actually showing you the gametes of the uh, female parent and the this area is actually showing you about the uh, gametes of the male parents and inside the Punnett square you are actually having the product of the uh, fertilization so when he crossed them uh, what he saw was that all of the daughter they were having the red eyes and this daughter and this daughter all of the daughters that he uh, uh, that he achieved was all of them they were having the red eyes now, half of the sun they were having the uh, red eyes while half of them they were actually having the white eyes this was the results that he got in the f2 generation now this particular pattern it was suggesting that the uh, inheritance of the eye color that was linked to the sex chromosome and from his results morgan proposed that the uh, gene for the eye color that is present on the x chromosome that was his first proposition from the results he got so far and the his second observation was that the white and the red phenotypes were due to two different alleles one was the uh, mutant allele as i've told you and the white one which we represent with a uh, simple w and a wild type allele that was actually uh, represented by a w plus allele and his third observation was that the uh, red like this allele this w plus allele that was dominant over the white the uh, this w allele like the white one you can simply say that the red eye color is dominant over the white eye color so uh, what he did was that uh, the female that he took in the uh, first cross that was assumed to be uh, homozygous for the w allele as i've showed you like if you look at uh, this one, I've told you that the uh, female that he took in his first cross that was homozygous for the uh, W plus allele, the wild type allele. And the male carry the mutant allele. If you see this one, the male that is actually carrying a mutant kind of the allele. And the uh, Y chromosome that was carrying neither of the alleles, like the Y chromosome was not having the wild type allele, not having any of the uh, mutant type of the allele. And an organism that has got only one type of the gene is called a hemizygote. Like in this particular case, if you talk about the male, they are hemizygote. Hemi mean half. That means if you look at this one, uh, if, you look at, if you talk about these particular parents, the female, they are having two X chromosomes and they are having two alleles, two copies of the alleles for the uh, eye color gene. If you talk about the male, they are only having uh, one allele and the Y chromosome is not having any kind of the allele present for the uh, gene of the eye color. So they are two in number, the male that is having one of the allele, therefore we call the male is the hemizygote that is having half of the number of the alleles as compared to the females. Now, he performed some other experiments just to uh, make it sure that the results he is achieving, uh, that the gene for the eye color was present on the X chromosome, he performed some further experiments. In one of his experiments, what he did was that he crossed a heterozygous female that was having the red eyes to a hemizygous mutant male, which was having actually uh, the white eyes. When he crossed them, the results was that uh, half of the female, they were having the red eyes, half of the female, they were having the white eyes, half of the male, they were having the red eyes, and half of the male, they were having the white eyes. 
Now the results of this particular experiment was very promising to prove that the gene for the X, uh, the gene for the eye color was present on the X chromosome, because if you look at this one, if the gene for the uh, eye color was present on the Y chromosome, the male is already white. That means that all the males should have white eye colors. But as half of them they are having the red eyes color that means that the gene for the uh, eye color was present on the x chromosome and not on the y chromosome now let us suppose that if the uh, gene for the eye color is present on the x chromosome so if you talk about the uh, female over here uh, this female is having a one x chromosome carrying the wild type allele the other X chromosome carrying the mutant type of the allele and we all know that the males they are getting one X chromosome from their mother the males are always having their X chromosome from their mother and they are having the Y chromosome from their father so if a male is getting this particular X chromosome from the mother he is going to have red eyes that is what is represented by over here and if the male is getting this X chromosome from the mother, he is actually going to have white uh, white eyes. If the gene for the eye color, as I've told you, was present on the Y chromosome, and the uh, eye color that uh, of the hemizygous mutant male was white, all of the males they should have the uh, white color uh, white color eyes. But as half of them were having the red eyes, half of them they were having the uh, white eyes, it was actually proof that the genes for the eye color was present on the X chromosome and that was not present on the uh, Y chromosome. Uh, in one of his other experiment, what he did was that he actually crossed a homozygous mutant female that means that this particular female is having uh, two X chromosomes and both of the X chromosomes they are carrying the mutant allele, the allele for the white eye color and he crossed that with a uh, hemizygous wild type male that means that this uh, male is having the X chromosome which is carrying the wild type allele and a Y chromosome. So when he crossed them what he got was that all of the females they were having the red eyes and all of the males they were having the white eyes now this was a very important experiment that if you talk about this one like the uh, female parent is having the white eyes but all of the offspring females that are produced they are actually having the red eyes and we all know that the females they get an X chromosome from their father and they get an X chromosome from their mother now is both of the X chromosome in the mother they are carrying the uh, mutant allele the only thing that that is determining their eye color was the uh, x chromosome and is the x chromosome of the male that was carrying the uh, wild type allele so all of the uh, females they were having the red eyes and is the uh, males they are getting their x chromosome from their mother so if is both of the x chromosome they are having the mutant type allele the white type of the allele therefore all the males they were actually having the white eye color when he crossed the when he intercrossed this particular progeny like when he crossed the uh, 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 heterozygous female with the uh, the heterozygous female with this uh, white male out of his results was that half of the daughter they were having the uh, red eyes half of the daughter they were having the white eyes now again half of the uh, red males they were having the uh, half of the males they were having the red eyes and half of the uh, females they were actually having the white eyes now if you look at this particular one if you are going to cross these two if you, if you are going to cross this uh, in this particular planet, if you could talk about the progenies, we are actually crossing uh, the X W, the X W female that we are actually getting from this, from over here. And if you are going to cross that with the male having the X W and Y, that means that is the uh, males they are actually getting the X chromosome from their mother. So if they are going to guess get this particular X chromosome from their mother they are going to have white eyes if they are going to get this particular X chromosome from their uh, mother they are going to have uh, they are going to have the red eyes now if you are going to uh, transfer this X chromosome into the daughter over here 
or here and if you are going to get this x chromosome uh, to the uh, female as both of the x chromosome they are carrying the mutant allele so their eye color will be a uh, white in color so, but if they are actually getting this x chromosome from their mother this x chromosome from their father and is the uh, uh, the wild type is dominant or the mutant one this particular female is going to have red eyes so from this experiment mandel was uh, the uh, morgan was actually uh, making it sure that the uh, genes for the eye color that was present on the chromosome and particularly on the x chromosome so he actually discovered the uh, sex linked inheritance by that i mean that as the uh, x chromosome is a sex uh, the sex chromosome therefore the eye color gene uh, that was uh, declared as a sex linked inheritance